What does everybody want? Let's begin by saying hello to the lady behind the voice, Jennifer Lyle, my co-host, here she is right here. And a lovely lady here, too. Feel good, ready to go. Feel good, this is a power color, you know. Yes, it is red. a power color, red. And I'm matching shorts, but we'll not talk about that. <laughs> go over there and we'll get started. All right, Jennifer, let's say hello to our players. Can I say that, Jen? I guess, Jamie, that's okay. Picking up where we left off on the last show. We're all tied up at a game of peace. Carol show off has forty four thousand seven hundred dollars in prizes Rick Bird has two hundred and fifty dollars in prizes big difference there but he's planning to do something about that right now we were about to play our tiebreaker game when time ran out on our last show let's have our tiebreaker puzzle right now here it is players you're looking for three words we never tell you anything about the words because the three words have something in common this means getting any one of them could lead you to the other two, and that's the whole idea of the last word. You have to come up with the last word, the final remaining one to win the game, and one of these prizes. Jennifer? Wink, we are still playing for the pasta manga, the fashion wear, and the tea service. When the game players win all three words, and all three prizes will be yours, win two out of three games, and you'll get a chance to win much more. Now for the tiebreaker game, we'll... Uh, Give Susan and Jamie a rest. They've been working hard all this week. Let the two contestants fight it out. It'll be between Rick and Carol. Jamie, yeah, I'm, you're I'm, not I'm, that old. I'm, Stand up straight. Before the show, we, your mother wouldn't be proud. Before the show, we tossed a coin for this round. Carol, you'll go first. And we always begin with some free letters, and here they come. Carol, hit your starter and go for a letter. I'd like to pass, please, Wink. I'll take a letter. All right, Rick. That's called penalty time. Sorry about that. When that happens, you have to give a letter to your opponent. Let's go with the middle word, the uh, fourth letter. You always want to try to make it a letter that won't help that other person too much. Carol? I'd like to go for a letter, please. Three words that in some way are tied together. Um, I'll have to pass. No thoughts. All right, Rick, your turn. Okay, I'll take a letter. Any thoughts? No, I have to pass. No guess. Back to you, Carol. I'll take a letter. Nothing comes to anybody yet. Oh. Carol, you got to give Rick a letter. Okay, Get I'll down to the nitty-gritty. It's got to be something, uh, hopefully, that won't help him. Top word, last letter, please. Yeah, it's tough at this point, isn't it? Rick? Uh, I'll take a guess at the top word. Is it Coney? Is it Coney? No. no. Carol. Okay, I'd like to take a guess at the top word. Is it money? Is it money? Won't you know it? Yes. Money's the word, and when you get one, you get to guess at another word or pass, Carol. Um, I'll guess at the bottom word. Is it mint? Mint. Yes or no? Yes. So far, so good. Carol's on a roll. Okay, and I now you have two words, and you have the right to go for the last word. Okay. If you come up with the right answer, of course, Carol, you will win the match. Okay. Um, I'd like to go for the last word. Is it print? Print would not only give you the match, if you're right, but all three prizes that go with the three words, right or wrong. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations to you, Carol. The lady is becoming a piece of furniture around here. She feels right at home. She loves it. Money, print, and mint, the three words. All about uh, Jamie making money, right? Oh, that's her. National budget, gross national deficit. <laughs> she looks like deficit. Deficit. gross national deficit is to the is. to the budget. Well, you get the prizes. Three words give you the pasta, the fashion wear, and the tea service. Carol, congratulations! You now have two matches, and that means you're our champion. You're continuing champion, and you'll remain on the show to meet a new challenger. Rick, unfortunately for you, that means we have to say goodbye to you. You leave us with two hundred and fifty dollars in prizes, and our thanks for being with us. Thank you.
We'll get ready to play our 60-second challenge round with Carol right after this. Welcome back to The Last Word, everybody. And our champion, Carol. I'm just thinking about some of the things you've won. I'm not going to go over the whole list, but you've won a trip to the Caribbean. You're going to go to Great Britain. You're going to get to go to Scotland, the home of your birth. You still have uh, people back there, right? Oh, yes, tons, yeah. Tons of people. Tons, tons. Okay, you know how we play the 60-second challenge, and uh, have you played with this gentleman no, before? No, I haven't. Not, not I didn't say so. She'll train me well. <laughs> well. He's awfully good. With Jamie's help, you're going to go for a lot of prizes to add to the ones you've already run. Jennifer Lyle, tell us about them, please. You'll glide across the waters with Vic Sports Lightweight Sailboard. Bring fun in the sun for the beginner or the advanced. Designed for easy handling and performance in nearly any type of wind condition from Vic Sports. And what better way to break it in than with a week for two at the Crystal Ixtapa, where every room overlooks the ocean. Try sunbathing on the beach or swimming under the waterfall. Fine dining, dancing, and entertainment from Crystal Ixtapa. Then, grab your board and complete this trip with an additional two weeks for two at the Crystal Vallarta Hotel and Village. Over 25 acres of relaxation, fun, and entertainment. Try tennis or water sports or just sitting on the beach from Crystal Vallarta. And wink, that is a prize package totaling $4,500. Well, you know what you're trying to do. You and Jamie are trying to solve 10 puzzles in 60 seconds. With each one, we'll give you the first two words as clues and then begin putting letters in the last word one at a time. You can both call out as many guesses as you wish, as you are well aware. As soon as we hear the correct answer, we move on and give you the next puzzle. For each correct answer, we'll give you 100 bucks in gifts. If you get all 10 puzzles, those prizes valued at $4,500 will be yours to add to your prior winnings. Jamie, do you understand? Can I make that perfectly clear? Perfectly clear. Are you doing it, Carol? I'm, I'm doing it. 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck, and we go. What? Mindy. Hey, Mindy. Yes. Yes. Iron, niacin, anison. Uh, uh, niacin. Uh, 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 Calcium. Yes. Next. Uh, screw. Oliver. Yes. Dickens is right. Stitch, finger, hurt, uh, thumb, uh, thumb, uh, thumb, uh, thumb, uh, thumb. Symbol. Yes. Next. Kermit, Henson, Muppet. Yes, five more. Slide, swing, uh, what is it? Slide, uh, swing. So, uh, sea sea song. Yes, four more. Uh, plane, water, uh, douse. Yes, douse is right. Three more. Hope, Hope uh, Euchre, uh, uh, ball player, uh, New, New, uh, New Heart. Newland, New Heart, yes, two more. Nate, Butler, uh, Servant, uh, 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 Mansion, Mansion, one more. Fire, Fire alarm. Farm alarm. Uh, 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 Douse, D-O-U-S-E. I thought, no way. You got that real fast, I don't fast, know where it though. came from. I don't New know Heart where Mansion, it came Mansion from. and then Rooster. Uh, what were you saying? You didn't... I was, I'm saying fire instead of farm. I got to get rid of these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> See better Chuck without... Chuck Hillary! <laughs> <laughs> don't I wish. <laughs> Carol, congratulations Thank to you. you once again. You got all ten. That means you won the series of prizes that Jennifer Lyle described. That brings your total winnings on the last word to $49,900. $100 short of $50,000 in prizes. And another trip to Estapa. I mean, you're going to be taking trips from now to Tuesday. Can... Yeah, you'll have to get some time off. Well, Carol, again, congratulations Thank to you. you. We're going to take a commercial break now, and we'll get a brand new match underway, and we'll do that right after we take this time. You're right. <laughs> Right now, we'd like to give our wonderful viewers a chance for the last word. Here's a chance for you at home to play right along. Here's your puzzle with two words completed. It's your job to complete the last word. Remember, all three words have something in common. As you can see on your screen, three words, no shoes, play, and a third word that is related to the first two. If you think you know the last word, send your answer to the following address. 
viewer's last word. Post Office Box 4700, Vancouver, B.C. Our postal code B6B483. That address again, viewer's last word. Post Office Box 4700, Vancouver, B.C. B6B483. Include the date and the station that you're watching. If your name is drawn and if you've correctly given us the last word, we'll send you a great prize. Good luck, everyone. Welcome back to The Last Word, everybody. Before we welcome our uh, newest player, our newest contender for the championship, our champion, Carol, over here with uh, $49,900 in prizes thus far. And Addie. Carol, I think I would be remiss if I didn't just ask you uh, a little bit about your family. You're married. You have children. Tell yes, us about I'm those. I'm married. I have two children, a, a seven-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl. And their names? At Christopher and Allison. They've got to be extremely proud of them. They're, oh, they're very oh, excited. Very excited. Well, well played. And our new player is Chris Keeler. Chris, how about you? What do you do and uh, where do you come from? I'm a merchandising coordinator for a pharmaceutical chain of stores, and I come from Vancouver, British Columbia. Sounds good to me. Welcome to our show. Now, Chris will be playing with Jamie, and Carol will be playing with Susan. Chris, you'll play against Susan in this game. By the way, Jennifer, we need some prizes. What are they playing for in this game? <laughs> Win the game with one word and a set of Honeymooners videos will be yours. Win the game with two words and a Jean Roulet travel clock is yours. Win with three words and you'll win all three prizes, including this. Magnavox barcode remote control VCR with on-screen display is smart. Very smart. Easily programs up to four events with the barcode scanner. Furnished by Magnavox. <laughs> there we go. Let's have our puzzle and our three letters. A, E, and O. Chris, hit your starter. Okay, come on. Good luck. Three oh. words that have something in common, Chris. I'll have to pass right now. Susan? I'll take a letter. The lady from L.A. Law comes up with an L. Uh, I'd like to guess the second word. What do you think it is? Yield. Yield. Is that right or wrong? Yeah. Y-I-E-L-D. You got that word, you got to guess at another word, or pass over to Chris. I'll pass. Something that goes with yield. Over to you, Chris. Pass. Okay, I'll take a word wink, or letter. Oh, uh, uh... Time's up. Susan? I'll take a letter. Oh, penalty time. You got to give a letter to Chris. Make it something that won't help him too much. Uh, oh, let me see. The, the second letter in the third word. And that letter would be an E. Chris? Oh, uh, help me out, help me. Uh, no guess. Can I, I'll take a letter? Yes. Um, yes, okay. Something that goes with yield. Carol is standing over here. She can hardly wait for Susan to come up with one of them. Uh, I, I'd like to guess the third word, please. What is it? It's detour. Is it detour? Yes. Yield and detour. Susan has won both of the words for Carol, but the idea of the game, as you well know, is to get the last word. So, Chris, you're still very much in it. All right, you get a shot at it, Susan. Uh, I'll pass. Chris. I'll have to take a letter. Uh, you detour. Susan. Oh, I'll take a letter. Carol, don't you dare say a word to her. No. Oh, Chris. No. I'm going to take a guess of the top word. What is is it? it caution? If it's caution, you have the last word and that game. Is it caution? Yes, it is. Two words to one, but you get the last word and you win the game. We put a star there on your podium. That means you win that game. Let's see, we were talking about caution, yield, and detour. What, three traffic signs, right? Three very yeah. popular, or sometimes unpopular, traffic signs. Well, you got one word. You got the videos, Chris. I'm sure you'll enjoy those. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Let's get right on to the second game now and see if, uh, if uh, we can even this up at a game of peace. Jennifer, what are we playing for this time, sweetheart? Well, if you win the game with one word, take home a calculator. Win with two words and win Hatteras, two-seater porch or garden swing. Win the game with three words and you'll win all three prizes, including this. This hot point dishwasher makes for easy cleanup of heavily soiled items with a hard-working pots and pan cycle. It also features energy-saving drying options and a built-in soft food disposer to reduce free rinsing. Furnished by 
my hard point. Thank you, Jennifer. Our teams have already moved into position now as we move into the second game of the first match. And, Carol, you need to win this one to even up the match at a game apiece. Carol will play Jamie this time. And, Carol, you get to go first. Let's see our puzzle and the letters. There are the freebies. You've got to work for them now. Carol? I'll pass, please. Okay, over to you, Jamie. I'll try for the letter. Wait. Jamie Farr comes up with an I at the bottom. Uh, word. I'll, I'll try to guess the bottom word. Is it fairer? Spell it. F-A-I-R-E-R. -E Sounds good. Right or wrong? No. Okay. Not right. Carol? I'd like to guess the bottom word, please. Is it sailor? Is it sailor? Yes, it is sailor. Sailor was a good guess, Jamie, but an incorrect guess. Carol, you get to guess again. I or can't. pass. I'll have to pass. Over to you, Jamie. All right. Something that goes with sailor. I know a lot of those guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, try for a letter. Were you a sailor in your day? Uh, I will, don't answer. <laughs> you come here often, sailor? Uh, yes or pass? Yes. Uh, I'm going to uh, pass. Oh, time's up anyway. Yeah. Susan? Or Carol? I have to take a letter. Something that goes with a sailor. Jamie. All right, I'm going to have to take a letter. Uh. Back to you, Carol. I'd like to take a guess at the top word. What is it? Is it spinach? Is it spinach? Yes! Spinach. You're right, did you two words? As you try to even up this match at a game of peace, and you're allowed to guess at the last word. I, I, I'd like to guess the last word. Is it muscles? Is it muscles for the last word? <laughs> yes, it is. You got it. All three words. I don't know whether that was a stab in the dark or not, but boy, that was a good guess. Spinach, mussels, and sailor, of course, talking about Popeye. That gives you all three prizes for those three words, the calculator, the swing, and the automatic dishwasher. Carol, congratulations. Thank you. This match is now tied, and uh, with your words, you won those three prizes I mentioned. We'll be back with our tiebreaker right after we take this commercial time out. <laughs> Susan, uh, you're one of the stars of television these days, and I'm sure there are a lot of housewives out there wondering, gee, why can't I be a star? How, how could I do it? How did you do it? Well, I was, I was taking theater classes sort of for fun, and I had a friend who was in the classes, and she was going to an audition. She needed a ride, so I gave her a ride, and she said, while you're here, why don't you read? And the play was Hot El Baltimore, and I said, oh, oh, all right. And I read it, and I got it, and... And that was it. That's like a Cinderella story. That's, yeah. that's almost too good to be true. But it was true. And it's, uh, what, four years now in L.A. Law? Yes. Is it a fun part for you? It's a wonderful part. It's like, you know, if you said, how could I, if I had every condition perfect in my life, that's what L.A. Law is Nice was people like. to work with. Wonderful people. Good producers. All and a lot of people out there who watch. Yes. That's good. Susan, we love you. Susan, you can. Jamie Farr. Since we're talking about L.A. law, let's take a moment to talk about M.A.S.H. Because uh, 11 years, Captain Klinger, or Corporal, Corporal Klinger, Corporal. I'm sorry, sorry. It's a nice pay raise, but I didn't get it. Sorry about Doesn't that. Doesn't quite work. Yes. Corporal Klinger. Yes. Fun, fun job for a long time, Jamie. It had to be an interesting job. And is it one you look forward to going to every day? It was the best job I've ever had, and I don't think it'll ever happen to me again. Because uh, the people were absolutely the greatest, the best working conditions possible. Uh, but you were out there in the mud. You were out there. It didn't in matter tents. because the scripts were great. The, the acting, uh, the directing, the, the people you you went to work. I couldn't wait every morning to get up and go to work. We had such a good time doing it. I think uh, the audience detected that because they uh, they loved all of us. We were part of their family for all those many years and still are in reruns. And we love that family, the Mash family. Yes, Thanks thank for all you. those great years. <laughs> Jamie Fox. We have a time match, so now for the playoff, we're going to give Susan and Jamie a rest and let the two contestants fight it out. Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Before the show, we tossed a coin for this round. Carol, you won the toss, so you go first. Jennifer, what are we going to be playing for in this tiebreaker? Wink, win the game with one word, and for that special someone, a 14-karat gold bracelet is yours. Win with two words and win the Alistair Garage Door Opener System. Win with three words, and you'll win all three prizes, including this.
Magnavox 20-inch stereo color television is smart. Very smart. It includes a universal remote that controls virtually any brand of wireless VCR and cable. Furnished by Magnavox. All right, we're all ready to play our tiebreaker. Carol with over $50,000 in prizes. Chris with $100. But if he wins this game, he can play for that great big challenge. Let's have our tiebreaker now and see what happens. And the three letters are... B, I, and R. Carol, go for a letter, please. I'll pass, please. Chris? I'll take a letter, wink. Uh, I'll guess at the bottom word. Is it uh, bark? B, A, R, K. Yes, yes or no? Yes. Mark's the word. You're right. You're allowed to guess at another word or pass back to Carol. Chris, you're in control. What is your pleasure, sir? I What's my pleasure? Oh, I'll pleasure take a Pleasure to go home. <laughs> I'll take a letter, please, Wink. All right. Yeah. What do you think? Time's up, Chris. I'll take a letter, please. Something that goes with mark. Is, I'll take a guess at the middle word. Yeah. Is it... Oh, oh, time is up. Carol. I'll take a guess at the middle letter. Is it, is the middle word, is it oink? Spell it. O-I-N-K. That's what I thought you spelled. Is it oink? Yes. <laughs> yes, I think that's what you were going to go for, wasn't you? Mm. Looked like you were anyway. Well, you're right for the word, and you're allowed to guess at the last word, I'll, Carol. I'll guess at the last word. If is you it, get it, you'll have the match. Is it gobble? Is it gobble? Bark, oink, and gobble. Yes. Congratulations to you, Carol. You won the match. Two words, gobble, oink, and bark. It's what animals say. You get the garage door opener. Congratulations. Takes you even further over the $50,000 mark. That's all the time we have for today, everybody. We'll be back to play our 60-second challenge with Carol and one of our two celebrities next time. Goodbye, everybody. Jennifer. <laughs> While in Vancouver, accommodations were provided by the Chateau Gamble Hotel, located in downtown Vancouver. Ask about our weekend specials. For reservations, call toll-free 1-800-663-0575. Come enjoy the sweet life. This has been the final episode of the current series of Last Word. Jackpot moves to this time starting on Monday.